video was made possible by EA Game Changers. Hello guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day and I hope you guys are also super excited for today because today the embargo lifts for early access footage of Realm of Magic. Did that make any sense? Anyways, so whatever I have recorded over the weekend, I can finally share that with you guys from today. And we are, of course, starting out with overviews. So this video is a create a sim overview. There'll also be a build and buy overview up on the channel right now. And then in about 30 minutes from now, if you're watching this when it's released, there'll also be a world overview. So I hope you guys are excited for that. And unfortunately, I will say that I have not had the time to dig into gameplay because I've mentioned in previous videos this week that, or last week I suppose since it's Monday, anyways, that I am currently moving. So right now at this very moment I am in a car on my way to Denmark so I've just not had the time but when I get to Denmark I will be digging into the gameplay so let me know if you still want to see anything gameplay related on the channel and I will do my best to record something with it. But anyways, yeah, so the cast in this or the creative sim items in this pack are of course very geared towards spellcasters or witches, whatever you want to call them. So it's not done in the same way as vampire stuff was because vampires was very, like it, was, it wasn't very versatile. I wanna say that there is a few like very versatile items in this pack that you could definitely use for normal sims that aren't necessarily spellcasters, like this top for example, and also the first top that I showed you, also this one actually, but then the next top we're looking at is maybe a little bit special, so that's kind of, they, they did do it a little bit differently than they did with vampires because vampires was very gothic, like the clothing was very gothic, whereas in this pack there's some casual clothes, some more modern looking clothes, and then we still have the more traditional spillcaster clothes. So yeah, I was very, very, um, very excited about that actually, because I love versatility when, when it comes to both build and buy, but also create a sim. And um, yeah, there was one thing I wanted to say, which did kind of, I was a little bit surprised by it. We did not get anything for kids or toddlers. And I mean, they did say that they didn't, they didn't want to focus on children and toddlers too much with the gameplay because they can't be spellcasters. So if they had to make sure that kids could be spellcasters as well, they would have had to pay less attention to the adults where, or, or that would mean that the whole like spellcaster system wouldn't have been so in depth as it is. So I suppose they kind of decided to do the same for clothes, but I don't know if it's just me. I feel like the last couple of packs we haven't gotten a lot for kids or toddlers and I really want to see something new for toddlers plus, especially toddlers, plus I feel like a little witchy dress for a toddler would be so adorable. So I'm a little bit sad about that, but I do get the whole like focusing on adults or teens or young adults elders because they're the ones who can be spellcasters. So I suppose they're the ones who have to look like they're spellcasters, if that makes any sense. I do love a few of the more spillcaster witchy looking items. I think that they did a really good job with the Kaz. I especially love the very first hair that I showed you guys. So it's the short braids that are kind of flipped forward and I don't know, it looks really, really cool. I remember seeing it in the trailer and I just loved it right away. They also added another braids, which also has like, it both comes in a solid version, but also an ombre version, even though it's not just ombre swatches, it's like, multicolored and it looks really really cool. I think a hair like that, like a multicolored hair, they look so good in the game and totally fit both spellcasters and vampires and mermaids or the sims that are a little bit more out there than usual, you know? So I love multicolored hair. I love like crazy colored hair in the sims. I think they look so cool. So anyways, also this hair by the way for males 
it looks so freaking good. That's the hair that the guy from the trailer was wearing or had. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it looks really, really cool. So for clothing for men, it's sort of the same situation as with female. I do think they got a few more pieces that are more geared towards spellcasters. So it doesn't just look like regular clothes, but there's a nice selection in there. You could definitely style some of it for more normal sims and use them for everyday use and yeah i think they did a really good job with the creative sim to be honest but let me know what you guys think also let me know what you think about the whole like lack of clothes for kids and toddlers as well is that something you would have liked to see in this game or in this game pack and um yeah definitely let me know your opinions i love these jeans by the way it's been a while since we've gotten any jeans that were ripped for men and i am so yes i'm so happy about those and um yeah i could definitely see they did get some inspiration from harry potter for this like the previous outfit in particular, there's something about the necklace in it, especially. It kind of looks like the Deathly Hollows from Harry Potter, but it's shaped as a plump up instead, which I think is kind of cute. But um, yeah, I'm really liking both the men and also the female creator sim in this pack, and I can't wait to see what CC creators are gonna use or are gonna do with it as well, because they always come up with something amazing. All those mesh edits and stuff, it's gonna be a lot of fun to look at, so I'm really excited for that. But other than that, we also got two new aspirations, actually. So the first one can be found under Knowledge, and it's called Spillcraft and Sorcery. It says, this sim craves a deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. So I suppose it's got something to do with learning all different kinds of spells and stuff. And then the other one can be found under Nature Aspirations, and it's called Purveyor of Potions. And I might be mispronouncing the first word in that name, but... Sorry about that. And the description says, this sim wants to learn every potions recipe and craft each one. So it's kind of like a collector of potions, basically. So yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Let me know what you think about the creative sim in this pack. Let me know if you are excited. And yeah, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.